Hi again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So about a week ago, I launched my very first bouquet subscription, and I thought I would do a video just to share with you guys what that all involved. Now, uh, a lot of flower farmers do these bouquet subscriptions or um, flower clubs, or they call them CSAs, which is essentially a community supported agriculture. And basically what it does is by offering these in the off season, it helps you generate some income so that you are able to get some of that income in the off season when you're not actually getting your income from growing flowers, because obviously none of us are out in the garden right now. Well, unless you are in a very warm climate, but here in zone 5A, everything has been gone since about mid-October. So anyway, I've had a couple years of flower farming under my belt and I wanted to um, start offering this now that I have a little bit of experience and somewhat know what to expect in the spring for the amount of flowers that I'll be able to offer. So anyway, I'm just going to go through the details with you on uh, how I decided how to run it and how many to offer and then I want to show you what my website looks like and how I am offering it for online sales. So first of all, I am calling mine a spring bouquet subscription. I thought bouquet subscription was um, a very easy term to understand. I'm not sure if I'll be doing a summer one yet, but I definitely wanted to do one with spring flowers. And so um, I just thought that was a very simple name. And the price is $95. It will include four different bouquets. So they will roughly be about $25 a piece. And I made it $95 just for a little bit of a discount um, because they're kind of buying a package but um, in in everyone's mind when you are doing sales and marketing anything under a hundred dollars obviously sounds better than something over a hundred dollars and so I thought $95 was a good price point so again they get four bouquets for $95 and these will be offered every two weeks starting in the spring most likely the end of April or whenever my flowers start blooming. And I do have that information on my website so that they know it doesn't start a specific date, that it definitely depends on mother nature. So the flowers that I plan to offer for the spring bouquet are, um, and I kind of have this pencil out here, I'm just gonna read through it for you guys. I will be offering one week of a straight daffodil bouquet. Actually, let me go through the flowers first and then I'll kind of tell you how I came to all of my numbers. So I have one week of daffodils, I'll have a week of tulips, then I'll probably have another week of tulips, and then the last week, the finale, will probably be a mixed bouquet. Hopefully um, with some fillers, maybe some ranunculus, anything else that I would have to offer. Now when I was trying to decide how many of these to offer for sale online, I wanted to be a little bit conservative. I have probably 5,000 tulip bulbs planted, so I could offer a ton of these subscriptions, but I also want to make sure that I have tulips available to sell for special orders, um, special arrangements, to florists. I have a bakery that I take deliveries to. I definitely know that she wants tulips in the spring, so all of my tulip bulbs could not be reserved for this spring bouquet subscription. I also needed to take an account not not just the tulips that I have, but the other flowers that I have available. What if my ranunculus don't grow? Um, I did not plant a substantial amount of daffodils, and so I wanted to be fairly conservative. So I came up with the amount of 12 subscriptions, which to some of you guys, that may not sound like a lot, um, but for my first time offering this, I wanted to uh, give a good number where I knew that, um, you know, I could sell quite a few of them, but I didn't want to overdo it as far as what I could handle. Now, my full-time job as a professional photographer, I have had my studio for 20 years, and so the, the flower thing is just something new that I started a couple years ago, and so I definitely have to make sure that I have a balance. But um, I planted about um, 375 to 400 daffodil bulbs. So I figured if I want to have one week's worth of daffodil bouquets, I will have 12 bouquets and approximately 12 daffodils per bouquet. That's a dozen. So that's 144 daffodils that I will need in that one week. So that is about half of the daffodils that I have planted out there, if they're all blooming at the same time, which I'm sure they will not be. That was something I felt comfortable with not knowing how my daffodils will be blooming. 
Um, now daffodils, of course, like tulips, you can put in the fridge and save. You harvest them when they're just breaking open. So when that happens, I will put them in the fridge and you know, kind of harvest them as they are ready. Um, but for me, 12 was a safe number just to start with. Now maybe it goes awesome. Maybe next year I offer like 25. Um, but for this year, that is kind of how I came up with my number. So the first week, I'm figuring I will need roughly 150 daffodils. Then the next week, like 150 tulips. The next time, 150 tulips. And then the last week, by then hopefully I have the mixture of flowers and I will be able to kind of mix um, tulips, ranunculus, fillers, whatever I may have going. Uh, now, a lot of people will mix the tulips and daffodils. However, in my first year, I think I want to keep it simple and keep the daffodils separate. Um, if you are not familiar with using daffodils for cut flowers, once you cut the end of the daffodils, they have to be kept separate um, for oh, maybe three hours or so because they release this liquid. And if you put that right in with some other flowers, it can kill those flowers. So I just wanna make sure that I don't miss telling anyone, don't trim the bottom of your blooms if you have daffodils and tulips mixed together because it's gonna kill your tulips. Um, I just wanna keep it simple the first year. So that is how I plan to have it structured. So the price point on these again are roughly $25 and they do come as a wrapped bouquet just like the rest of my market bouquets. And so basically I'll just be putting those 12 bouquets together, wrapping them with paper, having them on display here in my business and then setting a pickup date. Now in the description on my website, which I will show you in just a minute, it does say uh, local orders only, pickup only, and you will be notified. I think it says you will be notified, but the plan is that they will be notified um, by text or email the exact date for pickup and times. So I'm hoping to keep it fairly simple because I have a storefront here on Main Street. I think it's a perfect pickup option for people here locally. All right, so I'm gonna jump on my computer here now and I'm gonna do a screen record and I'm just gonna show you what my website looks like, my online shop and how I have this all set up. Okay, so this is what my website looks like. My website is designed through Wix, W-I-X. It's a company that I have used before with another online shop that I ran. It is really user friendly and so far I really like it. So this right here is my homepage. Um, if you go over, you can click on the side and there's some menu items, but basically the homepage is where I have all of my information. So if you scroll down, you'll see basically the three main pages that I have built into my website. I have my online shop, I have my farmer's markets, which I need to update for the next season already. And then at the bottom down here, you'll see I have YouTube, which links right to my YouTube channel. And then I uh, updated the bottom tagline to say the online shop is now open. Also, I have it set so that all of my Instagram um, posts go directly to my website. So this is constantly changing and I will put my Instagram handle up on the screen if you guys wanna follow my Instagram account. But if we scroll back up, here is the link to my online shop. So we'll click that. And then basically it's a very simple online shop. You can see I finally added some merch to my shop. I have some t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, um, kids and toddler shirts, sweatshirt. I need to get on here and order a couple for myself. Um, and I can kind of go through how I do this in a separate video if anyone's interested. But basically the main flower item on my website right now is the spring bouquet subscription. So you can see I have it set up with the title and it tells the price and then um, the little tagline excluding sales tax. That way they know that there will be sales tax added to this item. So if we click on the page, I just have a simple spring bouquet picture from last year so they can see an example of the size and what the bouquet might look like. Again, $95 pricing. And then the text reads, the spring bouquet subscription includes four bouquets featuring beautiful spring flowers, including tulips, daffodils, and ranunculus. All bouquets are wrapped in craft paper and will be available for pickup every two weeks starting late April. Exact dates depend on mother nature and when the flowers bloom. 
So as you can see, it is a really, really simple online shop and item that they're able to purchase online. In the back end of the online shop, I have the inventory set to 12. That way I know that I do not sell over that. Now in the spring, if I do decide to add more, I can you know, add more at that time. But I think right now 12 is a good number for me for the first time I'm starting off. Then as far as marketing these bouquets, I have been doing posts on all my socials, my Facebook, Instagram, both my business and my personal page. The next thing I plan to do is send out an e-newsletter through my website, which I have a whole bunch of contacts saved. Um, and the way I generated those contacts were if you go to my website at the bottom, there's a little area where you can fill in that says newsletter sign up. So anyone that goes to my website can sign up themselves. I also have had a clipboard and an actual paper sign up at the farmer's market this summer. So I was able to compile a list of emails just from being at the local farmer's market that I can add right into my website. So next week I plan to do that and send out that newsletter December 1st once the Black Friday rush is over, announce these spring bouquet subscriptions, and hopefully I can sell all of them before the end of the year. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I'm going to be running my first ever spring bouquet subscription. If you run one and you would like to share how you run yours, add those in the comments below. And also, if you have any other questions, put those in the comments below. I do try to answer um, all of the questions that you have, of course, if I see them. So anyway, um, stay tuned for a lot more videos. I have quite a few planned coming up, including my favorite cut flowers for the year, my plan for 2023, kind of a recap of 2022 and uh, a lot more through the winter. So we'll see you soon.